Okay, we're back and we're here to talk about how to print estimates, how to save estimates to a PDF, and how to email estimates from iScope. We're going to go ahead and open up our estimate. And the first thing I want to talk about before we go into the printing and saving and all of that uh, is something that you're going to run into if you try to save or print before you correct this problem. Uh, what these mean uh, by being read is that they have a zero quantity or a negative quantity. So all of these have zeros quite obviously. This one here uh, was dropped in from say a macro and it had the quantifier of W walls minus 700 and so it's got a negative 700 uh, quantity. And so, uh, I, I mean, I just can't tell you how many times I, uh, as a user of other estimating programs in the past, have, uh, you know, printed out estimates, gotten to job sites, only to discover that some of the line items that were pretty important to me had a zero quantity. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, uh, when I created iScope, I decided that I wanted to, to make it to where that was very difficult to do. You can still do it in iScope, but it's going to tell you all about it. Uh, so let's see what happens if we try to print an estimate. It says here, you have one or more tasks with a zero or negative quantity. Do you want to continue? And we don't. Uh, as if the red you know, the glaring red here wasn't enough or the exclamation point and the red over here is not enough to warn you. It's going to tell you about it again when you try to print it. So uh, if you end up with an estimate with uh, negative or zero quantities, it's through no, uh, no fault of, of ours. Uh, let's go ahead and change the quantities on these. I'm going to use the shift click option. We're going to come over here and I'm just going to throw in 100 as the quantity, press OK, and all of them change to 100, and we do not have any more red. Okay, now I'll wait for this to update. And this is still red here because of the fact that there's no dimensions in this room. Okay, this is supposed to be roofing, and I've got all sorts of paint and drywall in there. And this is going to be green because it's been dimensioned. Uh, just for grins, let's go ahead and rename this. And let's go ahead and give it some dimensions. And we're all nice and green now. Uh, so let's go ahead and print. Let's go to this little print icon up here at the top left. And it's going to say print to PDF. And if you have pictures that are attached or internal notes, it talks about that information as well. Uh, if you have pictures, you can you know choose how many per page and whatnot. And we're going to go ahead and print to PDF. Now, uh, iScope doesn't print directly to a printer. Um, and it's because of formatting issues. I'm, I'm kind of letting Adobe do the uh, formatting for me. It saved me quite a bit of work uh, trying to uh, format um, it's, it's just a lot of work. And so I'm, I'm letting Adobe do that. So we're going to go to print to PDF. Uh, do you want to save your changes before printing? Sure. It's going to save this, save the estimate. And here's what the printed estimate looks like. Now, then you can go up here to your printer and press print and print it directly to a paper copy, uh, from the Adobe, uh, file the PDF file. Now let's talk a little bit about what this estimate looks like. Um, it's got the, you know, header, of course, my name, my logo, uh, customer information, loss address, sales tax. That's the first page. And you can, all, if you, uh, if you put in any kind of opening statement, it's going to be here on the front page. Uh, over here on, on all pages of the estimate, you're, you know, we're going to have the header. Uh, it's showing bedroom one, and it's showing the measurements of bedroom one, and any offsets or anything like that will all be listed right here, missing walls, all that good stuff. Uh, there aren't any, so it's not showing you any. Um, square footage of floor, ceiling, walls, all that good stuff is shown here. Now, we can make it in the global settings where this does not appear, okay? And I'm going to show you all of that. Uh, let's keep going. Here's the master bathroom. 
Oh, and, it, and by the way, at the bottom it says estimate written, written using iScope by Stephen Hadhazi. That's me. Uh, and I do have a paid version where it removes this. Okay. In other words, if you want to pay me, I will remove my name. I give you I give you free use of iScope, but the fact of the matter is that you know if I'm not going to get any advertising out of it, then I want some money. So that's my way of getting a little bit of cash out of you. Let's keep going. And here's the totals. Now, all this can be manipulated in the global settings. Uh, right now, it's breaking down the materials and the labor. We can make it where it just gives one price, and it doesn't break down the materials and labor. Here's where it adds the overhead and profit. You can, of course, increase that or add cumulative if you like. There's the total amount. And over here, it's giving you the percentage of the estimate that is drywall, flooring, painting, finish, all, the, all of the sections that are used in the estimate, it gives you a percentage. So we know that most of the estimate is actually drywall. And it gives you a dollar figure as well as the percentage. And in this next summary, this is something that I haven't seen in other estimating programs. It gives you the percentage of the line item. Now, this is powerful. You may or may not want to print this for who you're giving the estimate to because they could use it against you. Uh, they want to, you know, what you want to know, you want to know where the money's at in the estimate, okay? Especially if you're negotiating uh, some, you know, estimate with an insurance adjuster or something, you want to know where the money's at. Right here, we can tell in this estimate, that the money is in the ceiling drywall, 12.084%, okay? And then comes the uh, remove and replace carpet, 10.366%, okay? So you don't want to give these items up, okay? You want to stand firm on these items, and you want to come down here, paint rubber ducky. Give them the rubber ducky, okay? The rubber ducky can be abandoned. Jenison the rubber ducky. Uh, let them have that. Give them the seal prime baseboard and the removal of the crown molding. Uh, give them all this stuff here where there's, where there's not a whole lot of it, okay? The money's in the ceiling drywall in this estimate, so don't, don't give that up. And if you give them this, okay, if you print this report out and you give it to them, they're also going to know where the money's at. You know, they've got a 40, 50-page estimate. It's kind of hard to tell where the money is at unless they really study it, which, you know, very rarely happens. Uh, so let's keep going, and now this is something that is really, really cool, and it doesn't really show, you know, show it all right here because there's only three pages, but this is a table of contents. This is something I also have not seen in any other estimating package that is unique to iScope. Uh, how many times have you been at a person's home and you're flipping through a 50-page estimate trying to find bedroom number one? And, and it's just almost impossible. Well, I give you at the very end of the estimate, if you choose to have it in the global settings, uh, a table of contents, okay? And so you can... Uh, you'll you'll see it on say page 24 is the you know dining room and you can skip right to it so you just turn to the last page you find the room then you turn di directly to the to the room that you're looking for now, how's that it's pretty neat right okay and that's it uh, and like I said you can turn off a lot of that in the global settings and I'm about to show you how to go about doing that so let's go ahead and click out of this and let's uh, before we go to global settings, uh, that was the print. Let's go to saved PDF. Okay, let's click it and bam, it's done. Your PDF has been saved at, and it shows it's been saved in the C drive in the iScope 4 folder, and it's under that as under that file name. Now, if you'll look closely, it says the file name is more comma Randy dash estimate by Stephen Hadhazi, public insurance adjuster. Now, where did it get that information? It got it got that information. Uh, right up here, edit customer and property details for this estimate, and in this company info right here, manage company info, Steven, and you'll see right here the company name. So what it did, what I've, what I've instructed iScope to do is to save the estimate under the file name, more, comma, Randy, dash, Stephen Hothazy, public insurance adjuster.
Okay, and so whatever your company name is, it's going to say estimate by Stephen, you know, your company name, and so that helps you in not having to uh, to rename all your estimates. Okay, and you can also change that, by the way, in the global settings, the path, this right here where it says saved PDF, okay, uh, it, it, you can change that, the, you can make it save into a desktop, onto your desktop, you can make it save into a folder on your desktop, wherever you want, my documents folder. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at the global settings. Configure, right here, configure, global preferences reports. And right here we have it checked print material and labor costs as separate columns. I usually don't do that so I'm going to uncheck it. Print section summary page. Eh, I usually don't do that. Uh, if I do it's going to be for my internal use. I'm going to print a copy for myself so that I have the summaries but when I print them and give them to the uh, other side uh, I typically don't give them that information. Uh, print code summary page, not going to do it. Include room square footage and linear footage measurements. Now what this is is those where it, where it tells you the measurements of each room. Well, it's still going to do that, but if you uncheck this, it won't tell you that there's you know, 232 square feet, there's uh, you know, 51 linear feet. It won't give you all the, the breakdown of the measurements in each room if you uncheck this. I like that. Uh, print line numbers, yeah, I'm going to keep that. Uh, I didn't show you that, by the way, but there's a line number under each page. And I'm fixing to go back there, and uh, I'm going to show you uh, these things one more time real quick. Uh, the PDF location, PDF files will be saved here in iScope 4. You can click this button and choose to put them on your desktop or your My Documents folder or wherever you want to put them. Uh, print two pictures per page by default, okay, or none by default. Uh, let's go ahead and save and exit and let's print that report again and show you the items I forgot to show you. You see right here we have all the line numbers And right here are those measurements I was telling you about that you can uncheck. It won't show those. It'll still show these measurements, but not this summary. But I choose to keep these. So that's pretty much it for uh, printing. Now we're going to talk real briefly about emailing. So let's go ahead and go right into the estimate right here and down to email this estimate. And bam, it already has my email address filled in here and admin, my secretary, filled in right here. Uh, and all I have to do is press send. iScope cannot replace the existing PDF report while it is open. Okay. Well, that's the way that goes. Um, but in any case, uh, that's the way that works. If you just go in there and click email, hit send, it will work. Uh, if you don't want to send it to somebody that's already predetermined to receive it, you just uncheck them. You can always put another CC right here. Uh, come up here to the configure global preferences and go to email and this is where you set those email addresses. Okay. You can set your own email, your secretary, uh, whoever uh, you want the, the PDF to go to, and it'll automatically send it for you. Uh, this is the email address right here that it sends it from, and that's iscopeestimate at gmail.com. I just set up a quick Gmail account to do that for you. So if you're looking uh, for an estimate and you don't see it, and it might be in your junk mail, and it'll be from iscopeestimate at gmail.com. And so that's pretty much all we have to, to talk about on saving and printing estimates uh, and emailing estimates in iScope. Uh, please stay tuned to the other videos. There's a lot to learn. Thanks.